engine control looks good. Standing back to touchdown. See if we can land the booster separately. Of course, we will get the second stage off and going with the NASA escapade satellites on board on their way to Mars. Trajectory continues to look good, seeing good data quality coming down from the vehicle. Body rate response. Great to hear phenomenal. that. Good data quality. All seven engines continue Looking to look nominal. Good. Next up, Miko, which is main engine cutoff. The cheers are real. You can hear them all the way in here. And we have Miko. <gasps> and we have Miko. And we have good stage set. We have good stage separation. Okay. And we have ignition on stage two. Both engine and parameters look good. Stage two ignition. Oh, you see the two rockets there. Body rate stamping out nicely. Both B3U engines look good at the high thrust set point. Body rate responses look good. Three minutes, 43 seconds into flight. Look at that view. We have good indication of payload fairing jettison. Both B3U oh, engines great. continue to look good. Fairing Body rate response is normal. Seeing good data coming down from both stages. Great data. We're four minutes into NG2. And you saw the spectacular view look good. down Body from our GS2. Response continue to look good. This is a nine and a half minute burn for GS2. Four minutes, 25 seconds there. into flight.
Wow. All right, at nine minutes is when we're expecting the first stage to touch down on Jacqueline. Approximately two minutes remaining in the GS1 coast. Thank you again, everybody, for joining us for NG2. So far, a nominal mission. GS2 is now 320 kilometers NG2. downrange, traveling at 2.8 kilometers per second. Trajectory we continues to look good on both burn, stages. Clean separation, clean fairing Right down the middle jettison. of the range track. Engine operating parameters on GS2 look good. It sounds like our GS2 is having a beautiful ride. The, uh, the NASA escapade satellites are GS1 exposed to space now right now. And we've got GS1 the coming down for landing GS2 body at race T plus nine minutes. One minute remaining in the GS1 coast. Continue to see good data coming down from both GS1 and GS2. All, all three engines. No matter what happens next, we have had a good day. This is further than we made it on NG1. That's right. The indication of engine ignition on GS1. Continue to see good data from GS1. About a minute GS2, and a half. Engine parameters look good. Is when we would see. Confirm engine cutoff. Never on tell GS1. me the odds. Return to Earth. You see it in kind of that horizontal position. We've got the strakes on the base of the booster, which give it lift. So right. we can basically fly this booster. Of course, we're using the forward fins as well, plus uh, some of our reaction control system, to, uh, as well as the gimbling on the beam forward engines to turn the rocket accordingly. On here, it starts to tilt down one minute to go. Less than 40,000 feet. GS2 throttle down complete. Responses look good. Eight minutes, 20 seconds in the flight. And back to landing burning mission. And we have landing burning mission. See three good engines. We've got our booster landing burn. Engine control looks good. Eight minutes, 43 seconds. Legs deployed. Now down to the shot burn. from our booster. Standing back to touch. I'm speechless, which I, is rare for me. <laughs> Approximately one minute remaining in the burn. And she explains how long it took to get to this point with Escapade and what this moment means for their missions. From over 700 Escapade miles gold in space. Confirmed. And gold has separated. Congratulations, Escapade. Both blue and gold have successfully deployed. We have successfully landed the booster and we have successfully deployed both the blue and gold satellites for Escapade. Two for two. A couple of minutes here, also that Viasat demonstrator will turn on. That's an exciting thing. That's a payload kind of hitching a ride with our friends at NASA. And these organizations took a chance on us. They did. We get it. This is a, it was a new rocket. It had not flown when, when we signed with them. This means a lot to us that you have now, put your technology, you know, your babies Just in our hands on top of this rocket. You, you trusted our on. team, you trusted our method. We got you there. And we cannot wait to take our GS2 other signed customers as well as our other future to be signed customers. We are open for business, good. baby. On New Glenn, a new day, a new chapter has just opened 
for, as we said, Blue Origin, but also the space industry. Would you itself. say a new era? Would you it's say a new era? era? It's a new this era. This is it. It's a new era.